It appears the hunt for Jaula may come to an end soon. Our latest intel indicates she's operating out of four key sectors, including Kitama. I've dispatched operatives to three of those sectors, but I want you to check out Kitama personally. I'm sending General Martok with you. If she's there, I want the Alliance's best to take her down and bring an end to this civil war. Do your best to take her alive. But if she forces your hand, give her that traitor's death she deserves. Serve the Empire well. Times like this, every warrior needs someone they can trust at their side. And when fighting the Mokai, someone to watch their back as well. Kagran's here in that fancy new Alliance ship of his, flying Overwatch. Perhaps he's picked up some intel that could help us track down the Matriarch. Give my regards to the ferryman. If the Mokai want to fight, then a fight they shall have to battle! For Jaula, we picked up some chatter recently. Nothing verified, but... Intelligence thinks she's in space, under cloak, planning her next attack. But the chatter suggests she may be planet-side, working with people friendly to her cause. A bold move, if it's true. I suggest sending a team to the surface to investigate. Hawk Nook can! We are picking up some erratic readings from the outer part of the sector. Could be more skirmishers trying to sneak in and sink their blades in our backs. We'll deal with it. You should keep looking for the matriarch. Good hunting. And tread carefully. A nest of diplomats can be a dangerous place. 
When the Ferengi say the bigger the smile, the sharper the knife, I believe they had diplomats in mind. I know some people down there. We might be able to get some intel out of them, provided they don't bore us to death with their witless banter. Alliance Command. We've been expecting you. Your away team is cleared for transport to the diplomatic chamber at your convenience. Let's check in. Tedious, but necessary. The front desk officer might have some insight on the Jaula situation as well. They see every face that comes in here. Uh, officially, at least. This building used to be a monument to cling on glory. Much has changed. Welcome to the diplomatic chambers. Several delegates are present to discuss the Mokai Rebellion in the Chamber of Alliance nearby. Hmm, that is an interesting rumor, considering that several blood feuds have been declared against House Mocha. I would find that... unlikely. Not to mention messy. You will find the Klingon delegation in the central area of the Chamber of Alliance. It is flanked on the left and right by the Romulan and Federation delegations, respectively. The delegation from the Dominion can be found across from the Klingons until their formal section is completed. Let's see what the delegates know. The Chamber of Alliance is a couple of rooms ahead of us. is the Chamber of Alliance. Ha! Huh. It wasn't long ago that it was called the Chamber of Conquest. I spent many a night in here drinking blood wine and singing songs to honor the glorious dead, heroes all. Oh, those days are gone. Conquest has given way to alliance, to diplomacy. Several. I know three of the four delegates here. Some more than others, but enough to get their ear and see what they know about Jaula's whereabouts. The one from the Dominion. They must have assigned a new Vorta. I don't recognize this one. You'd better do the talking. Vorta and I do not always get along. The Romulan wing is up these steps. Greetings. I take it from the scowl on General Martok's face that this is not a social call. What brings you here today? Ah, yes. The name on so many lips these days. Fascinating woman. I suspect she'd make a good Romulan. After a visit to the tailor, of course. As for her whereabouts, I must disappoint you. I haven't the slightest idea where she is, and more's the pity. There's a considerable bounty on her head. Enough to buy a small moon, I'm told. 
As a child, I had good reason to think my grandfather was blown up by James Kirk in the neutral zone. Only later did I learn he died in an alley after an ill-advised life choice involving a senator's mistress. You can see why my parents chose to tell me he died a hero, hmm? Well, sometimes we delude ourselves to avoid unpleasant truths. And such delusion can spread like wildfire in times of crisis. This one looks particularly smug, even for a Vorta. On behalf of the Founders and of the Dominion they created, I welcome you. Tell me, how may I be of assistance? What a fascinating question. Can you imagine how chaotic it would be in this hollowed hall if that were so? I honestly don't know who would kill her first, though I suppose the logical choice would be a member of the Klingon delegation. I'm afraid I'm not one to give consideration to rumors and idle gossip. I am a Vorta, after all. We prefer to operate in the realm of fact and truth. I do wish you success in your endeavors, however. Pleasure to finally meet you. Your service to the Federation has helped us build the Alliance and keep it safe. We're in your debt. Please, how may I be of assistance today? Well, she's been a topic of spirited debate here for some time now. Her recent actions at Konos and Kuvat have placed the Empire into a state of civil war, after all. As to her whereabouts, Starfleet is doing all it can to find her and bring her to justice. But she is quite elusive, as one would expect from the leader of House Mokai. I am afraid I have no idea where she might be. If it were anyone else, I'd say no comment. Starfleet Intelligence believes that Ja'ula is operating from this system. She has more allies than you think. Even in these chambers, we suspect several ranking officials in the Klingon delegation are sympathetic to her cause. Unofficially, of course. She is here. I'm sure of it. We just need to keep digging. I believe it's time to escalate things. Let's go straight to the top, to the chairman himself. He's a crafty old schemer. If anyone knows, it'll be him. <sighs> Wide smiles, all of them. Their knives must be sharp indeed. Gentle beings, 
Until now, I have only known you by reputation. I am pleased to finally meet you both face to face. I've received word from Kronos regarding your mission here. How can I help? That would be unsettling if it were true. My security staff takes great care of their vetting procedures. If Matriarch Jaula has spies in the ranks, they'd know about it. I would know about it. Sadly, I think you're chasing your tail on this one. What's this? I think you need to see this. It just came through on all channels. There was a time when I believed my brother's cry of remain Klingon was unnecessary. That no true Klingon would need such a reminder. But now I know the truth of it. Then and now, there are those who have forgotten what it means to be Klingon. The tyrant, Jempak, seeks prosperity for his house alone and tosses scraps to those he deems loyal. He has forgotten what it means to be Klingon. It is a lesson I am happy to teach him in battle. Join me, and you can do the same. Join me, and together we can show Jempak what it means to be warriors, what it means to have honor, what it means to be Klingon. Impressive speech. This is the break we need. That signal didn't come from space. She's planet side. Somewhere. So much for the chairman's vetting procedures, eh? We must act quickly. Start the trace in here. See what we can find. The signal is getting stronger. This is a localized signal relay. We're getting warmer, but we're not there yet. It looks like the signal's coming from within the Chamber of Alliance. We should check the Chamber of Alliance for the broadcast signal. Signal is getting stronger. The 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 signal is getting weaker. Another relay unit. Typical Mokai deception. Let's see that. If I'm reading this right, the signal is coming from the Gallery of Honor. Access stairway that goes down there nearby. It's behind one of the doors in the arrival courtyard. Here, this door should take us downstairs. The 
last time I was down here, I'd had uh, too much to drink and thought I was on my way to the transporter room. <laughs> Let's just say it's easy to get lost down here, and we'll leave it at that. Know this. There are plenty of dark places down here where Jaula and her forces could be hiding. Keep your weapon ready. If there's one thing Mokai loves, it's a good ambush. against the hurt. Why do you follow such a dishonorable Vichnu? Kalis he is not, but Jempak has preserved the Empire through many a conflict. I may not like him, but I respect him. He has preserved the Empire by making us the lackeys of the Federation. When the hurt returned, he hid behind his throne. That is not the way of a true Klingon. You should fight at Jeweler's side instead of begging for scraps at Jimpak's table like a toothless old tarp. Do you take me for a victory? I will not betray the matriarch to the likes of you, Take! Stop it. Oh, a loyal. We're going to have to keep looking. Let's start with that door over there. Looks like the only unlocked one in here. I truly love the architecture here. Whoever made it has a great eye for the, uh, I want to say, warrior mystique here. What's a purple people dropper? A most delicious beverage. It's a mixture of Romulan ale. This place. The food is terrible. The liquor is a joke. And everyone wants to argue about something. Yes. I must admit that there is some wisdom in what Jaula said today. The fact that Martok still breathes tells me Jempok became Chancellor through dishonorable means. I will listen to what she has to say. Where does she want to meet? The chairman's aide is a close confidant of Jaula's. Talk to him, and he will make the arrangements. Get ready for Mokai paranoia. You'll be blindfolded, unarmed. They even carry you so you can't count your steps. I did hear someone using a door passcode at one point, but that's to be expected. 
You'd be paranoid too if half the Empire was looking to send you to Stovacor the hard way. I will speak to Cassenator's aid then. Try not to catch any bugs down there in the dark, old friend. Hmm. Sounds like we need to get our hands on that passport. That Karuk we beamed to my brig probably knows it. But we don't have time to get it out of here. That band of Mokai we dealt with aren't likely to be the only rebel down here. Let's keep looking around. I'll wager we find more, and when we do, we'll just have to be very persuasive. Prisoner without honor. We require the security passcode. If you give it to us now, I will protect you from Jempok's wrath. I do not wish to spend my days in the depths of Rura Pente. If you swear to protect me, I will tell you where you can get the code. And mine. Once we have what we need, you will be released from the Rotaran's brig. Very a Mokai officer stationed closer to Jaula's sanctum. One of Jaula's best. He has what you seek. One last thing. Warrior to warrior. Do not destroy Jaula. You must know her cause is just. Give her a chance to prove it. There's more to Jaula. She clearly inspires loyalty in her own forces and has convinced many others to forsake their own house and follow hers. I'm picking up life signs. They aren't far from here. That's probably where the Mokai officer is hiding. 